Thank you, Congresswoman Velasquez, for uh, your leadership and uh, for working together to convene us all. Uh, the New York Congressional Delegation has worked incredibly hard uh, to deliver for the people. President Biden promised that under his leadership, America will build back better. Democrats in the House are delivering for the American people. The New York Congressional Delegation is delivering big for the city of New York. The Build Back Better Act is going to cut taxes for working families and middle class families here in New York City. The Build Back Better Act is going to create hundreds of thousands of good paying jobs, if not more, here in the city of New York. The Build Back Better Act is going to lower health care costs, lower child care costs, lower housing costs, lower education costs, and lower the high price of life-saving prescription drugs. The Build Back Better Act is going to dramatically improve the lives of everyday New Yorkers. That is why it's so imperative for the Senate to act and to act quickly. There are so many different aspects of the Build Back Better Act that are going to be transformative for the people that the New York Congressional Delegation collectively represents. Let me just speak about one that I've worked on with the delegation as well as members of the Congressional Black Caucus. The Build Back Better Act includes $5 billion in break the cycle funding to invest in community-based anti-violence initiatives, violence interrupters, and also to make sure that we are providing our young people with extracurricular opportunities, academic enrichment opportunities, as well as pathways to a productive life by supporting things like summer youth employment. The Build Back Better Act and its $5 billion in Break the Cycle funding will be the most money ever invested in community-based anti-violence initiatives in America's history. And a significant amount of that funding will go to organizations that are doing the work on the ground here in the city of New York. Thanks to the New York Congressional Delegation, as well as the Congressional Black Caucus and Congressional Hispanic Caucus and the Asian and Pacific Islander Caucus, we've worked collectively to deliver meaningfully for the people. It's now my great honor to yield to the distinguished chair of the House Judiciary Committee, Chairman Nadler.